Hello and welcome to Trent United Methodist Church Daily Prayer for Thursday, August 3rd, 2023. My name is Wes White and thank you for listening to our prayer this morning and hopefully it's helpful for you. And today I'd like to uh, make our prayer focus on John chapter 15 verses 5 through 8. And Jesus is telling us uh, these words. I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be given you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit showing yourselves to be my disciples. We are part of the vine, Jesus being the root. We, we branch out. If we stay in that vine, we're nourished. We, uh, we're able to share uh, the shade that we provide, share the good things that we can do, as long as we stay with that foundation in Jesus, our root. Uh, you know, if you cut a branch, it says, if you cut a branch off and you set it aside, it'll it'll dry and wither, and burn easily in the fire. When we turn away from Jesus, we dry out, we wither, and eventually we will burn in the fire. But if we can stay focused on on holding on to Jesus, regardless of what's going on in our lives, and we have a lot of difficult things sometimes, but not a lot of distractions in the world. If we can hold on to Jesus tight, he will help us. He'll nourish us. He'll give us the energy we need, the strength we need to be able to continue on being in the world, sharing his good news. And what a joy that is to those who are wrestling with um, either their hope, hopelessness or wrestling with problems and don't have the hope in Jesus Christ. By the way we act and the way we show our faith, we can be an encouragement to them. And remember, in John uh, 14, verse 6, Jesus tells us he is the way, the truth, and the life. We're all looking for a, a good way to live. And we're looking for the truth, the real truth. Not the truth of the world, but the truth of the way things really are. And we're looking for a life, and, and a great life. And all three of those things we have when we hold fast to our uh, Savior, Jesus Christ. We, had, we just got off our meeting earlier this week uh, about preparations for Rally Day, and we had a nice turnout. I want to thank everybody that was there. A lot of good input. But uh, we can have more volunteers to help out with things like setting up and taking down and activities that day. So if you're interested, uh, please contact the church, and they'll put you in the right place to, to be able to do your gift um, in doing that. But... We're also going to be making the focus of Rally Day this week, rallying around Jesus Christ and his sacrifice on the cross, rallying around that cross, which, which many people in the world today find uh, either it's distasteful to them or they don't want to talk about it. But in reality, without that cross, none of us are saved. So this Rally Day, let's, let's rally for Jesus, and let's make this the best Rally Day ever. And uh, as we do that, raise awareness in our community about the importance of our one and true Savior, Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for uh, Jesus. We thank you for his teachings. We thank you for his wisdom. And we thank you most of all for his sacrifice. Uh, we're sorry for our sinful nature making that necessary, but we're so grateful that you had a plan, a plan that would save us from ourselves. Lord, as we uh, move forward in the days and weeks ahead. Help us to be bold in our sharing that good news with everyone we meet. Help us not to shrink back or be ashamed. No matter what uh, the world might think of us, we know in reality yours is the way, the truth, and life. And the only way we can have all three things is to trust in you and Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask that... Uh, those of us in our church family who are hurting or in need or are dealing with illnesses, that you lay your hands upon them and give them comfort, peace, and healing. For in all things, you're working for the good of each one of us. 
And we're so grateful for that. We ask all these things in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you for listening. And as Pastor Jim says, Jesus does walk with us all the time. Sometimes we kind of scurry away from him, but he keeps pursuing us because he loves us that much. Help us to walk alongside him and ask him for wisdom and how we can better serve him and each other in all that we do. Have a great day and may peace be with you.